Greenville is the friendliest city in America, and Forbes magazine says Greenville during the holiday season feels like a Hallmark movie. I'm Lauren Thomas, and it's a great week to be in the city of Greenville. The Forbes article titled Discover the Alluring Holiday Spirit of Greenville, South Carolina, says our sidewalks twinkle with the tree-lined streets and ice skaters enjoy an outdoor rink that is a mini replica of Rockefeller Center. Forbes is talking about the fabulous United Community Bank ISO in Maine, of course. The rink has sold nearly 5,000 tickets already. In addition to individual tickets, this week they launched a rent the rink option. Email isoinmaine at greenvillesc.gov for more information. The annual Night of Lights was held on Tuesday, December 1st. Mayor White, along with special guests Santa Claus and WIFF4's Jane Robolo participated in lighting the city's 30-foot Christmas tree. Poinsettia postcards presented by Fifth Third Bank launched on Friday, December 4th. 26 postcards festively decorated by local nonprofit organizations and school groups are now on display throughout the city's downtown plazas. At Unity Park, contractors are preparing for river restoration, bringing in large boulders and removing some trees. Parks crews are also planting bulbs throughout the downtown area and in Falls Park. The bulbs will bloom in the spring. Greenville City Firefighter is moving to the new Augusta Road Fire Station this week. A beautiful public art piece, Ladders of Life, by artist Yuri Tsuki, was installed in front of the building. Greenville is the friendliest city in America, according to the Condé Nast Traveler's 2020 Reader's Choice Awards. Visitors to our beautiful city said our citizens are welcoming and they love Falls Park and the Swamp Rabbit Trail. The city of Greenville offered free parking in all of our facilities on Thanksgiving and Black Friday. We will offer it again on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Greenlink launched later hours this week on four of its routes, running from 5.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m and they also rolled out their holiday bus, which features festive lights and wrapping. At the Greenville Zoo, Primate Row construction is complete. The primates spent their first night in their new cozy homes. The city is working to make Rockwood Park more accessible. Construction has begun on the new ADA-compliant hard surface path from the entrance of Rockwood Park to the playground area. The park will remain open during construction, which is expected to be completed by the end of next week. 20 downtown merchants have signed up for the annual window decorating contest. As part of the contest, a panel of judges will award the winner and the public can vote on the city's Facebook page at City of Greenville SC. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.